Hello everyone. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about accounting for bonds issuance cost. It's also called debt issuance cost. So first we need to know what is the bonds issuance cost. Actually the bonds issuance cost are the transaction cost incurred when the bonds are issued. So it might include certain legal fee, it might include certain accounting fees, it might include underwriting commissions, it might include also printing cost, it might also include the promotion cost. When it comes to the accounting treatment, so what we need to do here, so you should remember the cost to issue the debt securities must be reported in the balance sheet as a direct deduction from the face amount of the balance sheet. I mean to say when you want to record your bonds in the balance sheet, so you will deduct this value the bond issuance cost from the face value and I will show you how we will detect it. The second point, like uh, this bond issuance cost should be amortized over the term of the bond. Term mean to say over the maturity period or over the period the bond is outstanding. So we can use their effective interest method also to amortize the debt issue cost. And we can also use the straight line amortization method as well. So you can apply the straight line method only if the results are not materially different than interest or than effective interest method, okay? So here we go. We will see today we are just going to talk about in this video about straight line method. And in the next video, I will talk about effective interest method. So, but here we need to understand example with the help of example. Let's assume they are telling you we have our own company issued a 90 at 98, 50 of its 10% 1000 bonds. Actually, if you will look at here, the bond face value is 1000. Okay, 10% is the stated rate, it's a rate of interest. 50, 50 are the number of bonds, and at 98% mean to say, so you have issued the bonds at 98% of the face value. It means there is a 2% of discount. Okay. So here, the RON paid legal and restriction fee of $2,000 to issue the bond. So this is the debt issue cost. On the issuance date, what we can do, we can record the following journal entries, okay? So we can present the entry in two to three different ways. Just uh, focus with me. First of all, we will make debit cash, okay? Uh, with the amount of, because we have issued number of bonds are 50 times 1000 is the face value multiplied by 98% because there is a 2% discount is there, okay? So you will get a cash of 49,000. Then you will also credit the bonds payable always with the face value, which is 50,000. How we can calculate the face value? We have 50 number of bonds multiplied by 1000. So you can get the bonds face value, okay? Then the difference, of cash, which is 49,000 and face value, which is 50,000 is called discount on bonds. Otherwise we can also calculate the discount on bonds. Uh, how like take a 50 number of bonds time 1000 multiply by 2% because you issued at 98%, okay? It means 100 minus 98%, 2% is the discount. So you, it will give you 1000. Now, as we uh, we have paid certain legal and registration fee of 2000, so this is debt issue cost. So what entry you will pass, you can make debit debt issue cost, okay, as 2000. Credit will go to cash, okay. Don't forget this debt issue cost will be shown as a reduction in the face value in the balance sheet, okay. You will not record as any asset, okay. So here, if you want to combine this entry, okay, we can pass this entry this way also, if you will look at here. You will make debit cash if you will look at these two entries. So here we have a cash debit with 49,000 and here we have a cash credit of 2,000. So it means we have a debit cash 49 minus two, it is net amount is 47,000. So you will make debit discount on bond, which is 1,000. Okay, you can look at here, this is the debit. And then you have a debit debt issue cost of 2,000. You can look at here also, we have a debt issue cost here, 2,000, okay. So, and credit will go to bonds payable with the face value. This could be the one direct entry. But if you want to apply, uh, you know, effective interest method, which we will discuss, okay? So you should remember 
we should follow the third way to present the entry okay so you will make a debit cash with uh, 47000 okay 47000 how you got again because you received a cash here if you look at here 90 40, 49000 here you have a paid 2000 as a that is your cost you have a net amount is 47000 okay so then you will also make debit discount and debt issue cost. So here we are going to combine the discount and debt issue cost. Okay. Uh, the reason is that the discount and debt issue cost will have a same impact in the uh, in the balance sheet and in the income statement. Like when you will report, I will show you by the way. When you want to report your bonds in the balance sheet, this discount and debt issue cost you will deduct from the phase. Okay. And when you want to show the interest expense in the income statement, so this amortization of discount and that issue cost, you will add, okay, there in the stated rate, okay, I mean, say in stated payments. So that is why it has same treatment. If you want to apply effective interest method, I would recommend you so to use this direct third method, okay? So make a debit cash, which have 47,000. Debit discount and that issue cost, okay, which is 3,000. Because discount was one thousand, that issue cost was two thousand. Total is three thousand. And credit, you will credit the bonds payable with the face value. Okay. So now the question is that how you will amortize. So here I'm I'm going to uh, I'm assuming here, uh, guys. So bonds uh, will be redeemed in five years time, and it is the maturity period. And the second assumption I'm making here, uh, the, I am assuming that the interest is paid annually. Okay. And the third we are going to use straight line method to amortize the debt issue cost. So even you want to amortize the premium or discount or debt issue cost by using straight line method. So the formula is the same, but how to amortize the premium or discount, okay, by using effective interest method, I have already covered in the previous videos. I will provide the link for those video in the description of current video. So here we go now. So here we are going to use tail line method. So what you will do first of all, how you will calculate the amortization expense. Okay, this is really important. Amortization expense by using straight line method will be equal to debt issue cost because here just I'm going to deal with the debt issue cost divided by number of periods bond is outstanding. It's really important. So in my example, as I told you, we, we have a maturity period of five years and I am assuming here we are paying interest annually. So it means here the number of periods will be five years. Now assume if your bonds is having a maturity period of five years, but interest is paid after every six month, I mean to say semi-annually. So it means in one year you will pay interest two times so here then number of bonds period will be 10 because you have total five years okay and you are paying interest two times in each year so that is why so this will give you 10 periods okay please don't forget this is the common mistake which we might make in exam as well so you will take that issue cost divided by number of bond number of period bond is outstanding if it is annual as I, I assume that we will take five years. If it is semi-annual, like interest is paid after every six months, so we will divide it here by 10 periods, okay? So in my example, we have debt issue cost of 2000 divided by uh, five years is the maturity period because interest is paid annually. So I will get amortization expense of 400 per annum. Now the question is that what double entry I should pass uh, to record this amortization expense. To entry to record, we will make debit debt issue expense. Okay, actually, by the way, you can record here interest expense also. The reason is that this debt issue expense will be the part of interest expense in the income statement. Okay, so debit debt issue expense or interest expense and credit will go to debt issue cost. Okay, with the four hundred dollar, which is the amortization expense per year. Now the now we are going to talk about how you will present. Uh, your bonds in the balance sheet. This is the almost the complete presentation. So you always, uh, you need to write their total face value of the bonds. You will write in the balance sheet under the long-term liabilities. Add unamortized premium. How to amortize the premium? Okay, 
Uh, this we have already covered in separate video, but unamortized premium, you to say it's a total uh, amount of premium minus accumulated amortization. You will add this value here, okay? Less unamortized discount. Unamortized discount means a total value of discount minus accumulated amortization. This we have already covered in previous video. So you will subtract here. Less unamortized debt issue cost. You know, as I told you at start, the discount and debt issue cost has same uh, implications for the balance sheet presentation. So you can look at here, both will be subtracted. Both will be subtracted from face value. Okay. So here what you need to do, uh, how you can calculate unamortized debt issue cost. So simply you will take total issue cost, which was 2000 minus accumulated amortization in the first year, just we have amortization of 400. It means so unamortized that issue cost is 1,600. So if you will take this value, okay, plus minus like face edge, unamortized premium, less unamortized discount, less unamortized debt issue cost, this is how you will get the carrying value of the bonds in balance sheet. Now, how, uh, the which format we can use to present in the income statement, this is the income statement presentation. You will always take interest paid at stated rate. This is actually uh, actual cash interest payments, okay? Less what amortization of premium, like for the period if you have amortized any amount of the premium, so you will less it here, okay? How to amortize this, we have already covered. I will provide you the link. Then add amortization of discount. Uh, discount, you will, have amort you will add it here. And then we will finally add amortization of debt issue cost. And you know, in this period, we have amortized $400. So this is how you will get interest expense at effective rate in the income statement. Like once you add these items, okay? So it will be equal to interest expense at effective rate, okay? So this is how you will deal uh, with the debt issue cost if you are using straight line method and in the next video, I will talk about how can we amortize that issue cost by using effective interest method, okay? Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.